Let me tell you guys about this colorist, self-hating man that came into my work last night. So I work coat check at a strip club, right? So this dark-skinned man comes in and he's talking to the doorman. And the first thing that I hear him say is, oh, are there white girls? Are there any white girls here? I'm like, oh, here we go. So then he turns to me and he's asking me, are there white girls here? So I was like, well, we have a lot of Hispanic girls here, but you know, a lot of them are white. And he's like, oh no, not that. I mean white. I'm like, okay, I don't know what to tell you. Then he points to his wrist talking about his skin color and goes on this rant and is like, you just got to understand. I got to think about my grandkids and what they're going to look like. And then he turns to the doorman who was also dark skinned and he was like, oh, you know what I mean? You know, like, you know what I mean? Like what? All right. So my mutual made this video and I need to respond to it. I used to think just like that, man. And you wanna know why I used to think just like that, man? Because I endured years of being roasted and being told I was ugly because of my dark skin. So I never believed that it was a beautiful thing because I had never been told that there was nothing wrong with my skin color, not once. Not once. So I carried myself like that. But I didn't carry myself looking for white girls at a strip club. That is fucking weird. Once I realized that I was thinking that way and behaving that way, I went and did some introspective therapy. I went out and learned about colorism and intra-racism and all this other stuff. And it sent me down this whole path, become kill, kill color struggle on YouTube, whatever. Even though I was learning all this shit, there was a little part of me that never believed any of it because again, I was never told that I was attractive. I was never told that my skin was beautiful. I was never told that black is beautiful. And and even if I heard that black was beautiful, whenever that the black that was beautiful that was displayed to me, it was never someone who was as dark as me, who looked anything like me, who had a big old nose, who just looked flat out fucking African. It was never displayed that way. And even then, again, if you don't hear it yourself, you don't believe it. So if you ever encounter somebody like this, Try to have a conversation with them. Now, if you want to protect your uh, peace and be like, uh, fuck that guy, by all means. But I happen to believe that it does more if you tell him, or if you tell someone like this that there's nothing wrong with his skin, that his skin is beautiful, and that you shouldn't let the world tell you that. Because it took other people saying that to me, even though I was telling myself that every day with affirmations, it took other people to strengthen that feeling inside me. So I just needed to talk about that because like a lot of people will talk about how crazy a lot of these dark skinned colorist guys are. And I know for a fact the reason why they're like that is because nobody has ever told them that they were attractive. Nobody has ever told them that they were beautiful, that their skin was beautiful. And you never hear it. It's the same thing with dark skinned women. We don't hear it, so we don't believe it. So we carry ourselves in that weird way where we're going to breed a white woman into having some light-skinned mixed-breed children so that they don't have to deal with the, 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 the trauma and the torture that we had to deal with.